If you're new to Japanese style mahjong and you have a mahjong set at home, give random pulls a try. It's a great way to learn all the yaku and practice with blocks. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to improve your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do, so you get notification for when I post new videos or when I go live. I play live at Mahjong time on the fourth Sunday of the month for Japanese style. Join me sometime. Let's do some random pulls for now though. Let's draw Dora. The progression for winds is east, south, west, and north. So south is Dora. This is in the east. So south is Dora. It is the east round, let's say. We'll just alternate between the two. And I'm going to roll the dice just to randomize which seat we're in. Let's just say we're in seat north. <laughs> there we go. Where is that for? There we go. All right. And this is random pull one. We are in north seat, so we get 13 tiles. Oh, that's way too many. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So, north is the seat wind, but we do have chi potential in here. Here's a pair. Here's a potential chi. These are isolated, but we've got one, two, three, four, and then if we could draw something here to use one of these, I would play pin foo, which is all three in a sequence. We would need to plan it though to use this as our weight because we need a side weight where you need one on either side to complete the hand. This is a closed weight. This is a closed weight because we need the tile inside to complete it. This though, we could use either a two or a five. And here we have a good pair. So I would try for pinfu here. If you would try something different, let me know. So on to random pull two, I rolled a 12. That's seat four again. All these honors, they're not paired up, so they are not very helpful. We have a pair, a potential chi, potential chi, or there's a chi right there, potential chi. I think I would go ahead and play pinfu again because we have a pair and chi potential mixed suits. I'd go ahead and discard these. If you agree, write that in the comment section. If you would do something different though, let me know. I mean, we could probably try for Hanitsu. We'd have four discards, including a pair. I think we're better off though, going with Pinfu. Oh, let's draw Dora. I almost forgot. Eight, uh, one bam. One bam would be Dora in this case. So maybe use a one bam here with this three. So I would still go ahead and discard this and go for Pinfu. If you would do something different, let me know in the comment section. East round, let's say we're in seat six, which is south. Let's pull Dora, eight bam. Okay, so we have, we're in, uh, let's see, east round, south seat. We have a west and a green. Here's a seven, nine. 
here's a pair, here's a three, four, five. These are all isolated. I think I would go ahead and discard these and play Pin Fu again. Pin Fu again. It'd be nice to maybe draw seven Bam. And we could per perhaps draw in Dora with that six Bam there. So these tiles need a lot of help. But these are ready. Well, that one right there is a Chi already. So I think I would try Pin Fu here. If you would try for a half flush and discard these, let me know. But more and more as I play, it sure seems like most people try for Pin Fu because it's so fast, seemingly. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's say this time we're east. Let's draw Dora. One dot, one dot. Look at all those honors. Oh, pair, potential chi. Well, we could go either way here, but that's Akadora. We could get score for that maybe. So I would say we have one, two, three blocks for Pin Fu. Discard those and try to get some more number tiles. This would take a while. These are isolated. It'd be nice to get a one dot, leverage Dora. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Let me know what you would do with this draw, but I think I would play Pin Fu and get rid of these. So we're back to East Round. Let's say we are in six, which is South. So we'll put a two on the dice. Oh, let's draw Dora. So four dot is Dora. I would try for Pin Fu here again. Discard those. So there's a potential Chi. Potential Chi, these are isolated. There's a pair. And then this is isolated, but here's a potential T. One, two, three, four. All we would need is something maybe with the six dot. I think that's what I would do. Just hold all the number tiles and then get rid of these. Play Pin Fu again. It'd be nice to maybe get a four dot, five dot so we could leverage Dora get some extra score with the six dot. So that's what I would do here. If you would do something different, let me know. It sure seems like Pin Fu is the hand to play again and again and again and again. Does that ever get boring? I don't know. The jury's out. Let's do the last one, south round. And we're seat nine, so that would be east. Red, white, green. That's the progression of dragons. So white dragon is Dora. There it is, white dragon. Oh, and we have Akadora right there. Oh, we have all the fives. Hmm. Okay, this is where I need help. So if we have a potential chi, potential chi, isolated, potential chi, pwn, Dora, discard. I think I would try 
to split these out into cheese or at least one of them. So maybe that could be the pair. Make this a chi if we can get a three, four, or six, or even a seven. Then fill these in. Maybe if we draw well, we could somehow create a mixed triple chi. I don't know, but I think I would start by discarding the north and see what happens. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. And having all those fives and the chance of getting more Akadora, I would definitely hold the fives. Maybe discard the nine crack and the north and see what happens. That could be interesting if the drawing went well. Maybe mix triple chi, triple pwn, pin fu, I don't know. There's lots of things you could do there, but that looks interesting to me. Let me know what you would do with this kind of a random pull. And let me know what you think about random pulls in general, if you think they're helpful. I sure do, but you know, that's just me. This is the way my brain works. I like to practice. I just get my scorecard out in front of me and I do these random pulls and try to find a Yaku to go for. And then lately I've been focused on the five block method. So I've been able to practice combining tiles to make blocks and learning all about the different weights. This is great practice for that, I think. Give it a try yourself if you have a set at home. And don't forget there are links below the video to some resources, including Dana Chiba's Reach Strategy Primer. It's a great read. Lots of really great tile efficiency and also reach judgment. I love that. Very helpful. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do so you don't miss out on any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Reach, may all your picks be keepers.